So I'm going to start off by opening up a brand new Illustrator file. Um, I just opened up Illustrator, uh, just the, the initial program, uh, and I just want to start off just with a new file. So I can come over here and click uh, Create New, or I can come over here and click uh, File New. Either one gets you to the same place. And you should get a something that pops up that looks something like this. Um, there's a couple different ways of setting up a new file if you're doing something for a uh, mobile phone, uh, something specifically for the web. Uh, I know we're going to print, uh, so I'm going to set up a specific uh, print file. I'm going to come over here, I'm going to change my units. Um, you can leave them as points, I'm going to change mine to inches. Uh, basic 8.5 by 11 page, uh, we'll change this later. If you, um, again, uh, the orientation, um, portrait or landscape. Again, you can change this later. Uh, how many artboards you want, we'll set it up as one. Again, we'll change this later. Uh, the bleed, we're just going to use these as defaults. Uh, a couple advanced options that are down here. Again, we're just leaving this as default. Uh, we're leaving this as CMYK mode because we're printing as opposed to RGB mode. Um, again, because we're printing, we want a uh, high definition, so uh, we'll leave it at uh, 300 ppi. And the, and the default uh, preview mode, we'll leave, just leave it as a default, and we'll just hit create. And there's just a basic uh, 8.5 by 11 uh, page. Uh, just very quickly, um, in case your screen does not look like this, there's a couple different modes, or at least two different modes that I bounce back and forth between. Uh, if you click up here, you can see that there's a different types of modes that you're you can start to go between. Like if you're doing something specifically for the web, uh, it gives you certain icons that are uh, useful for uh, creating web uh, web images. Uh, the two that I use the most are either the essentials, which looks something like this. You have your properties and your layers over here, or uh, essentials classic. And again, you can have uh, your your layers over here or you can expand the entire thing, and you have this set up. Again, I switch back and forth between Essentials and Essentials Classic. Uh, if you have just your basic 11, 8.5 by 11 page like we just set up, you could always change it. Uh, you can click on Document Setup here, or you can go to File, Document Setup. Again, both, both of them takes you to the same place. I go to Edit Artboards. And here it's telling me that I have my 8.5 by 11. Uh, here's my portrait, or I can make a landscape, either one. I can change the size. So if I want um, 17, 17 by 11, again, I could either make it landscape or portrait, whichever one. If I want to make an additional page, I can just click this uh, new artboard. I'm just going to scroll down just a little bit. And by default, uh, it puts your, it places the new artboard. There's a space uh, that, it, that it places it in. If you want your two artboards to touch, just drag your, your, your brand new artboard. Uh, just click and drag and just make sure that it snaps over here. And once you're done, just, um, you can hit the X or the escape button. And now we have two uh, 11 by 17 boards. Uh, again, if you only wanted just the one board, again, just go back to document setup, edit artboards, make sure one of the two artboards is selected. And on your keyboard, just hit delete and hit escape. And now you have, now we have our um, 11 by 17, 11 by 17 page.